In this video, I'm gonna give you 11 ways that you can make money on a side hustle, making more than 100 bucks a day, so you can have the money you need to invest wisely. I'll start out with the number one way you can start to make money, and this is not a very popular one, is to get a part-time job. Get a part-time job at any local business for a few hours. It might not even pay a whole lot, but you'll have extra money so that you could set it aside for the rainy day fund, the emergency fund that I always talk about, for vacations that might come up, for extra money just to go ahead and cover living expenses and also have enough money to go ahead and invest. It's not a popular one, but this is something that our parents, our grandparents, they're used to being able to do. And now when you mention it, people go, oh, I don't want to do a part-time job. But in essence, you know, someone like me, I had two or three jobs when I was coming through high school. So think about that part-time job. Number two is selling the stuff you have that you don't utilize. Open up a closet anywhere in America and there are things in there that people don't utilize, whether it's extra pairs of shoes or jackets or go to your garage and look at every single item, start to catalog that, put it up on LetGo or Facebook Marketplace, I'm sorry, Meta Marketplace. You can go ahead and put it into Craigslist, any one of those things. So the inventory is already there. It costs you nothing to have and put out. And I know I'm gonna get some feedback. Whoa, well, you know, it's not really worth much, blah, blah, blah. It's worth more than what you're utilizing it for. So if you have zero usage, go ahead and take that. Not only are you going to declutter yourself, but you're gonna bring in some revenue for the household so that you can invest. Number three is focus groups. These are, you could go online and just Google focus groups and they'll give you a bunch of companies that do focus group investigations or focus group studies where you'll be a part of a survey, you take that survey, you tell them your opinion on a product or something that's out in the marketplace and then they give you a couple hundred bucks here and there. And that's not like you're gonna get mega wealthy off of, but it's certainly going to bring in a little bit extra capital. Number four, is freelancing. There's sites like Fiverr and Upwork and Behance and a whole ton of other freelancing spectrums where you can essentially work from home and put your services out there. Now, obviously, if you've got a skill and you're great at something, this works really, really well. Number five, consulting. Let's say you were great at tennis in high school or you were great at football or you were great at art. Put your services out there. Help other people that might need your consulting services. Put the skills that you already have to good work helping other people with a consulting business. Number six is zero dollar acquisitions. Now take advantage of that by going to Craigslist and looking at people that just wanna get rid of their stuff. Now, obviously you're gonna to have to go through a lot to get to some things that are going to give you some amount of value. You might look on Craigslist and people might be giving away. You might be able to take that and turn that into a furniture flip. You got that same chest of drawers or cadenza. You take another picture of it in good light and you put it back out there. It costs you almost nothing, maybe a little bit of time. So be creative when it comes to getting free stuff. And obviously you understand that not everything on Craigslist is going to be of big value but it's a start. Number seven, if you are a renter, homeowner, and if your local area allows you to, you can go ahead and do something like Airbnb and rent out a, a room here or there to make some extra income. Or you can look at apps such as Storage, and Storage would allow you to go ahead and rent out your home, your garage, your shed, so that other people that need storage can go ahead and use your services. Number eight is that you can actually flip cars. You don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars. You can go ahead and look, and now look, because of inflation, car prices, and used car prices have gone up, but there's always what? Opportunity in every marketplace. Search and look at the cars that are listed. See if you can get it for a great deal. Do your research. Look for cars that, are, that always hold a certain amount of value, and maybe someone on the marketplace is selling them for lower. If you have some mechanical inclination or you can clean the car up a little bit, maybe you can start to flip cars as well. Not flip cars over, just flip the car, basically buying it low and selling it higher price. Number nine is what Gary V does quite a lot on his videos, which is go to garage sales. Now, 
Gary doesn't need to do it. He shows you a great example of how he's going out there and buying everything from baseball cards to Hot Wheels. And then he flips them on eBay or something else that you can utilize. And garage sales are great because remember, there's a lot of people selling things that they're not necessarily using and they're trying to open up some space so you can make some great deals and then go ahead and list them online and make some money. Number 10 is you can actually you can rent your car out. There's a bunch of different apps out there where you can utilize. Now, let's say you're studying, let's say you're a student, you don't use your car X amount of days. Or let's say you're working from home and you're not utilizing your car. If your car is in decent shape, there's a ton of apps out there that will allow you to gain a little bit of money. You could be at work with your car park, use one of those apps to allow people to go ahead and rent your car while you're sitting around working at the same time. Number 11 is to build an influence online and then start an affiliate marketing program. You can start all kinds of things like you could be on Instagram if you're a fitness person, maybe there's some aspects of what you could do. You can you can make create a program. Maybe you want to go ahead and start a YouTube channel. It takes a lot of work, right? You could start a YouTube channel and put in affiliate links. Maybe you could go to Pinterest and also put in some affiliate links where if people buy that particular product that you're introducing to them, you can start to make money that way. Now going into number 12, I'm gonna talk about is a blog. If you have expertise in anything, remember going back to Fiverr, Upwork and consulting, you could actually utilize that skill set to create a blog very specific to that area and also tie that to affiliate marketing and products. So these are all the ways that you can bring in extra income. The whole purpose is not to get extra income so that you can spend it, but get extra income so that you can invest it. Go ahead and comment and tell me if there are other ways that I'm missing out and so other creative ways that you can introduce and I'll make a video about that as well. If you like this video about how to save money and then you want to find out where to invest it, click here for the next video on investing.